welcome to another video here is our math challenge for today we want to find the value of x in this problem so the first thing we are going to do here is we are going to let suppose i choose uh let's say u square equals the fourth root of x and uh, by taking the uh let's say i raise the two side by the power of four we are going to have this as u to the power 8 equals x. So therefore, when we back to the normal questions, we have 5 fourth root of x minus root x divided by 6 equals 1. So we are going to have this as 5u square minus, when we plug in the value of u raised to the power 8 in this root x, so we are going to have it as u raised to the power 4, and everything equals to when we multiply 6 by 1, we are going to have 6. So therefore, let's take 6 to the left-hand side. We are going to have uh, 5u square minus u to the power 4 minus 6 equals 0. So again, let's multiply through by negative and just to make u to the power 4 start with positive so therefore we have u to the power 4 minus 5u square plus 6 equals 0 and again we can write this u to the power 4 as u square all raised to power 2 minus 5u square plus 6 equals 0. Therefore, for the second assumptions, we are going to let u square to be any other letters. And uh, suppose I choose letter t to be equals u square. So let's do the replacement. We have this as t square minus 5t plus 6 equals 0. So if this is a quadratic equation, which we can easily factorize it because it is factorizable, therefore the factorization of this having these two factors are t minus 3 bracket t minus 2. So these are the two factors of the quadratic equation above. Therefore, the solution of this are t equals 3 or t equals 2. So getting these two values of t, we are going to recall from where we let t equals u square. And we try to substitute the two values of t into that one. Therefore, we have, for the first one, u square equals um, 3, while the second one is u square equals 2. All right. So I will leave this one like this. So I don't need to take the square root of both sides to get the value of u. So let's back to where uh, we let u raised to power 8 equals x. Since we are looking for the value of x. Therefore we have u raised to power 8 equals x. And to get the value of x in this, we consider the first one which is at u square equals 3. And we do that. We can rewrite this u to the power of 8 as u raised to the power of 2 all raised to the power of 4. Therefore, we have when u square equals 3, we just try to replace it as x equals 3 and all raised to the power of 4. Therefore, the first root of x is 81 as it requires. While for the second one at u square equals 2, we still apply the same thing as x equals u square raised to the power of 4. Therefore, we have x equals 2 to the power of 4. And we get the second solution to x, which is 16. But on getting these two, we are going to verify if they satisfy the given equations or not. So, to check for these two solutions, which is x equals 81 and x equals 16. 
for a defect one which is x equals 81 we try to plug it in this question which is 5 4 root of x minus root x and divided by 6 equals 1. so at x equals 81 we have 5 fourth root of 81 minus the square root of 81 so when we multiply 6 by 1 we have 6 but is it equals to 6 so you know that the fourth, the fourth root of 81 is just like 3 just like you know 3 raised to power 4 is 81 so why this is 9 and 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 and we have 15 minus 9 which is equal 6 so the first solution which is 81 is valid while for the second one which is x equals 16 so to check for that as well we have 5 fourth root of 16 minus the square root of 16 we want to check if this is equals to 6 so the first root of 16 is 2 minus square root of 16 is 4 and 5 multiplied by 2 is 10 minus 4 which is equal 6 so which proves that this second solution is also true so this is how to solve this math challenge thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more exciting math problems like this I will see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.